Last week we created this line visual, as you can see over here, it's just the line chart, to show us the gross margin and the salesperson. And we put in the tooltip, the total sales, the total cost, and the salesperson, just so we could see a little bit more information about that. What I'd like to do is make this visual look a little bit better, make it stand out a little more, make the name or the title in the visual be something that makes more sense, having total sales and total cost automatically appear because it's in the tooltip is a bit misleading when you're just looking at the visual itself. So let's do a little bit of formatting now. I'm going to select it so my handlebars are around it and then I'll click on the paint roller to open up the formatting pane. But what I want to do is change the title. So the title defaulted from the fields that were being used and the color is pretty light. So I want to make a few changes here. So first of all, I'm just, I'm going to leave gross margin. And I'm also going to say, I'm going to say gross margin by salesperson. And I'm going to get rid of the ID. And I could just manually change the name of that. And so now this oops, still is a little bit too much. So it looks like I have by salesperson by salesperson. So let's clean that up a bit. Let's get rid of the name. There we go. So now we have gross margin by salesperson just by doing a little cleanup. I do want to though take the font and make the font black so it stands out a little better. And what I might want to do is center that and make the text size a little bigger. Although I do not have a lot of room there. So what I'm going to do is just make this visual a little bit smaller on both sides. We'll make it the same. And then we'll make this one just a little bit bigger. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Another thing I like to do, and this only shows in report mode and not when you're in a dashboard, I like to take the title and I like to add a background color to the title. And so I'm going to go ahead and just select, I don't know, uh, we'll select the default green. There we go. So I think that makes it stand out a little bit better. All right. So as you can see, when I hover over one of these arrows, it does place a little dot there. But what if I want to see that little dot show up all the time? So again, what I'm going to do under the formatting area is I'm going to come down and choose the, the shapes. And what I could do right now, it's just a solid line. This is where I could change it to dash or to dot it, but I'm going to leave it solid. I could also make the line stand out a little bit more if I want to. And if I want to, I could even choose to show a marker. And there are a variety of default shapes that are available. So I could use an X, X marks a spot, or I could use a triangle. We'll use a triangle. Um, actually, you know what? Let's use a square. Okay, and I can increase the size of my marker here, and I can even go in and change the color of my marker. So I want to make the color of this one, let's make it uh, blue. So now that stands out a little bit better when I'm hovering over a particular spot. It's nice because it tells me that I can, which tooltip I'm going to get or which salesperson I'll get the tooltip for. I could also turn on the step so it's not a smooth line, but instead a stepped line. But I'm not going to do that now. So I'm going to go ahead and just close up the shape there. So I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. Or in the plot area, I can add an image and change the transparency. And let me add an image now. So what I'm going to do is just click on the add image area. And I'll pull up and grab my little cache image. So there's my cache image and I want to make it a little more transparent so I could see perhaps the lines. And that's how you could add an image to the plot area as well. Just make for a little prettier plot, I guess. I kind of like that. Kind of digging it. And still, once again, I have my tooltips that I could hover over. Hope this helps.